Well, hello again, xenographers, and welcome to another episode. And today we're heading out on location just into central London. Uh, we're going to do some shooting with the Nikon FM. It's a camera that I've not used a great deal, um, but first impressions are very good. I like the camera very much, and we'll see how it performs out in the field. It's loaded with CineStill 50, and I've also got along a roll of Fuji 200 for when the CineStill runs out, which it inevitably will. So here we are in London, we're by St Paul's Cathedral, and so we're going to walk down to the cathedral and down from there to the river and see what we can see. London has a buzz, it has a vitality, like all great cities, it has a life. And I'm just hoping that it also has a number of shots that we can get as well. I'm sure they're there just waiting for us. One great thing about the Nikon FM is how easy to use it is. It's a really simple camera. It's got a light meter built in, but other than that it's fully manual. But the light meter simplicity itself, it's got a couple of, well, three LEDs in the viewfinder screen. And ideally you want to have only the central LED lit up. Very, very simple to use, a real sort of no-nonsense machine. Nothing to get in your way. No menus of this, that and the other to worry about. A really nice shooting experience. So there's the cathedral in the background. Shall we try a bit of architecture? All right, why not? Now, if you remember the film days when everybody used film, you may have noticed that photographs looked kind of different. And the reason for that is that film slows you down. It's a cliche, but it really does. You don't want to waste your shots. You can't just snap, snap, snap away and hope for the best. You need to give yourself a good chance of actually getting the best before you press the shutter. And the more I shoot film, the more that discipline comes back to me. It's very zen-like. London's a funny city. I kind of love it and hate it. I hate it for its noise and its crowds. And I hate it for the hot temperature in the summer. And all the dirt and all the pollution. But there's something it has. It has a vibe, it has an energy, it has... I don't know what to call it. I guess every city has its own magic. And if you want to do some interest in photography and just experiment a little bit and see where it will lead you in terms of the images you're going to get. You could do a lot worse than come down here for a day or so. Shooting film takes you back to the way photography used to be done. It's slower, it's more zen-like, it's, it's a nicer, less frenetic experience. There is very little that is so congenial, so pleasant, so indescribably wonderful about just wandering around with a camera in an interesting location. Well, I'm somewhat surprised to find myself on a beach in central London. I never really quite expected to find a beach here. Um, but here it is. One thing's for sure, this is a great photo location. There's all sorts of interesting objects and images and people around. And it's really relaxing and, and just really pleasurable just to 
look around and find images, just see what you can see. There's one thing that's becoming clear, and that's that in photography, in good photography, I think what you need is a certain amount of serendipity. Just that evolution of the moment. The idea that the shot's waiting there for you, and that if you're in the right frame of mind, you're going to see it. it. Seems to me that the old film cameras help that process. It's a less frenzied, less frenetic activity. And it somehow lends itself to just finding those moments. Or maybe I've gone mad. This Nikon is an absolute pleasure to use. As I've said, it's really simple. You don't need to think about it. It becomes second nature. Focus, compose, expose and shoot. That's really all there is to it. There's no mucking about with menus. There's no rapid firing off of frames in the hope that you'll get something. It's just a really nice, simple, uncluttered, uncomplicated process that allows you to think, if that's the right word, or to feel where the next shot's going to be. There are not too many cameras I've used that can do that. The old Leicas do it. They are almost an invisible tool. And I think this Nikon works in a similar way. I've certainly felt it that way today. So we've had some fun, we've had some laughs, we've had some joy, we've had some tears. But we've also had a really nice afternoon shooting a lovely old film camera that is rapidly becoming a favourite. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you next time for more xenography. Thank you for watching.